Hi friends, my name is Arlene Jackson. I'm the pastor of Recovery and Connection Ministries at the Cape Coral campus of Grace Church. So listen to what I read the other day from the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verses 45 and 46. Many of the people who were with Mary believed in Jesus when they saw this happen, but some went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So, what did the people see? What had Jesus done? I mean, I'll tell you what he just did. He had just raised a guy from the dead. His name was Lazarus. That's what he had done. It was a miracle. It was wild. Lazarus had been dead and in the grave for four days. And Jesus shouted for him to come out of the grave and Lazarus came out, still wrapped in the grave clothes. It was wild. And a lot of people around saw this miracle and when they saw it, they believed in Jesus as the Messiah. And then there were some other people who saw the miracle. The spoil sports, I like to call them. The ones who just can't let a miracle be a miracle. The ones who have to make something bad out of something wonderful. You know what they did? According to the scripture, they went and they went and told on Jesus to the religious leaders, the Pharisees, um, who were always looking for a way to get rid of Jesus anyway. You ever notice that there are always those people who no matter what good happens, they have something bad to say about it? I'll bet you have some of those people in your life. A friend of mine puts it this way, if they won a million bucks, they'd complain about paying the taxes on it. I mean, some people who saw this miracle of Jesus just couldn't accept that Jesus was the Savior, the Messiah, and that a beautiful miracle life, like life, could come out of death. But you know, we can't be too hard on these guys, right? We, we like to villainize them, but we really can't be too hard on them. You know why? Because each of us, I think, has the propensity towards this also. Um, at least I do. Cynicism, negativism, uh, darkness instead of light, uh, all of this can steal my joy if I don't watch it because I can forget how miraculous God is, how graceful and merciful and delightful Jesus is about how miracles abound wherever I look. I can forget. Jesus came to earth to make the dead alive and, and to renew mind and body and spirit. And I'm living proof of that, but left to my own devices, I can very easily forget. So today, together, let's remember Let's take communion to remember that Jesus is the biggest miracle of all and the miracles he's done in my life and in yours. God loved us so much that he sent Jesus to break the power of our darkness. So let's remember that today as we take a bit of the bread and as we dip it into the juice. And we remember that Jesus is the light of the world. Let's pray. God, we just thank you for the light of the world. Help us to trust him, to surrender to him, and then to be the light of the world in response to his love to everyone we encounter. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.